Hello guys, welcome back to the mathematics class. I also welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are watching our video for the first time or visit our channel for the first time, do it to subscribe, like, also touch your button. Guess what? Share your brand feel like this. You'll be the first one to be notified. In this YouTube channel, in this page, we are sharing knowledge based on mathematics and we give question and answer for any kind of examination. We draw the solution of that particular question. So in this video, we are going to look at this particular question for this and prepare to let our head for this upcoming jam examination. This is the first question to treat in this video. We have five questions and this is the first sort of question. So if you are joining us for the first time or watching our video, do it to subscribe, like, also turn the picture button in case you have a brand new like this, you'll be the first person to be notified. Okay, let's go. We are in the jam class now. So we are the first question to solve in this video. The question that evaluate we have is zero point fourteen square multiplied by is zero point two seventy five divided by seven open bracket is zero point two zero two. We want to convert to two or three decimal places. We have our options there. You know, jump. We only have options. Okay, in this place, how we solve this particular question is very simple. So let's find the question out here. We have 0.14, everything was square multiplied by 0 0.27 over 5 divided by, we have 7 open brackets, 0 0.02 close brackets. So the first thing here, and the simplest way you can solve this question, you know, you jam, the time is always version. So in order to solve this question in the simplest way, you first of all open the bracket we have with this down here. You know, if you open this bracket, we still get something that related to the word to this. So you can use this up very, very simple, right? So if you open the bracket we have here, you have 7 times 0 point what? 2. So that will give you 0 point what? 14. So which means that we have 0 point 14 after your square multiplied by 0 point 275. Everything divided by this one by like this, we give us 0 point 1. 0.14. So in this place now, here we have two times of 0.14. Here we have one times of what is 0.14. So which means that okay, let me express it like this. Let me express it like this. We have what this one let me expand it. That is 0.14 multiplied by 0.14. That's the meaning of 0.14 squared multiplied by we have what 0.275. Divided by we have what 0.14. So in this place now, is that point one four becomes this word is that point one four. So we're left to work with these two. So therefore, is that point one four times is that point two seven five, which gives is that point zero three seven three eight or five. It gives is that point two three eight five. So press the calculator. This is what we get. So this is our answer. But our answer here, we don't have is an option here. So, and the question says you convert what to three decimal places. And in this place, we have a four decimal place here. Eh? So, let's convert to three decimal places. So, in this place, we have the one, two, three, four. Here, we have four decimal places here. Eh? We want to convert to three decimal places, which means that if you have to convert it, you stop at one, two, three. You write the first three, that is 0 0.038. So, this way, so that is three decimal places. So, this number will be considered as a nice word, as a random of number. And 5 is rather than as what? As 1. We add it to this from plus 8. So we just add 1 to it because of the random of number as 5. So 1 plus 8 will give us 9. So therefore, there are 3 decimal places given with 0 0.039. So answer is equal to 0 0.039. So that's it for the, our option. Okay, we have it as our option C. So which means our C is the answer for this particular video. So, and I mean, for particular. Uh, Question, right on. So this is the first question. Let's go to the second question of this today class. Okay, let's go. Okay, guys, so welcome back. Okay, this is the second second question for this today mathematics class for this upcoming jam examination. So uh, if you have just joined your don't forget to subscribe, like, or something your button in case so you are brand new ladies, you'll be the first to join five. So we have the second question for this particular video for this today class. So this question is that if y over 2 is equal to x, evaluate s is power 3 divided by y is power 3 plus 1 over 2 divided by open brackets of 1 over 2 minus s is power of what? Of 2 divided by y is power of 2 plus brackets. And we have our options there. So to solve this question is very simple. So I'll give you the best way you can solve this question. Okay, let's go. Here you solve it. So let's have the solution. So let's go to the first right step. Is it about S? 
Since s is declared that s is equal to y over 2, so which means that our s is equal to, we have y over 2. So it means that anywhere you see s, replaced by what? y over 2. So here we have to part s. Okay, let me write it out. We have our s raised power 3 divided by y raised power 3. That open bracket plus 1 over 2, close bracket divided by, we have the cos instead of 1, 1 over 2, open bracket minus s is power 2 divided by y is power 2, close brackets. So, okay, let's do it like this. Let's make this one as first part and let me do this one as second part. Let's of course solve this first part. Okay, let me solve the first part. So, in this first part here, we have our s is power 3 divided by our y is power 3 plus 1 over 2. And since it has declared that our s is equal to y over what, by 2, so let's put what anywhere c s replaced by our y over 2 into this. So in this place, we have an s is power 3, which means that our s here, instead of writing this s replaced by what, y over 2, we have y divided by 2, lt here is power 3 divided by what, y is power 3, plus we have 1 over what, 2. So if we open this bracket here, we have our y is power 3 divided by minus 2 is power what, or 3 divided by y is power what, or 3 to plus 1 over 2. So in this place now, this y is power 3 contains this y is power 3, yeah? And in this place, 2 is power of 3 is got what, 8. That is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 we have 4 times 2 we have 8. Okay, in this place now it's made once there, it may miss once. So it means that we have 1 over what? 1 over 2 raised power of 3, which is equal to 8. Plus, here we have 1 over what? Over 2. So in this place now, this is not the solution. To get the solution here, you find what? The SM. So when you find the SL of D, the SL of 8 and 2 is what? Is 8. So now say 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 times 1, we have 1. 2 divided by 8. Is what is 4. 4 times 1, we have a plus, that is what 4. So add it together, 1 plus 4, we have 5 over what? Over 8. So which means that our s, this part, is equal to 5 over 8. So let's write this, that is 5 over what? 8 divided by. So let's solve this part now. Let's solve this part. We have 1 over 2 minus s squared minus what? Divided by y squared. And s is given as y over 2. So let's replace our s by y over 2. So here we have 1 over 2 minus, that is what y over 2, ft is what is squared divided by y squared. So in this place now we can say that, let's open this bracket here. We have 1 over 2 minus, that is y over 2 squared minus, uh, so it will be y squared minus y squared minus 2 squared divided by what y over squared. So this y square plus this y square is means 1 there. Yeah? So in this way, 2 raised to the power of 2 is equal to what? 4. 2 times 2, we have 4. So here I have 1 over 2 minus what? This is 1 over what? Over 4. So here we have to fashion now and separate by what? Minus. You find the x cell of this. So when you find the x cell of 2 and 4, we have our answer is equal to what? 4. So 2 divided by 2 divided by 4. That's what? 2. 2 times 1, we have 2. Minus 4 divided by 4, that's 1. 1 times 1, we have 1. So let's subtract this. 1 minus 2, we have what? 1 over what? 4. So our answer for the second part here is equal to 1 over what? 4. Okay? So we can even solve it now. So here we have to fashion there. We have 5 over 8 divided by 1 over what? 4. So when they separated by what? Division. So we change the division to uh, to multiplication, and if we change the division to multiplication here, the second part here will be inverse focal of it, the inverse of this second part, which means that before we go so one becomes all down. So therefore we have a 5 over 8 multiplied by 4 over 1. So in this place now, 2 is common here, I mean 4 is common here, 4 here 1, 4 here we have 2. So it means that 5 times 5 times 1, that is given as well as 5. 2 times 1, we have what, 2. So answer is got to what? 5 over 2. So let's look at our option. So it is option what? A. So our answer is got to what? 5 over 2. And the option is what? Is A. So let's go to the next uh, question for today. Class. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, welcome back. So this is the question of this uh, today's video. So for this coming jam examination, 
So let's calculate this question to that d plus part find the plus part which amount to 5500 and simple interest in five years at two percent per annum. We have our options there. So I will solve this question. Now you are familiar with this question very well. But in this video, we'll give you the best way you can solve this question. Okay, let's write out our data. So you are given the the 5,500 and what? And it's a interest. Means our SI is giving us 5,500. And we're given the year that is time is called what? Five years. And we're given the percentage as well that is our, our R, which is the rate, as 2% per annum. So the first thing to do here now is to calculate the total, the total rate for five years, which means that we multiply the time and half together. So we give us what the total rate for the five years. So we will be equal to that is two percent multiplied by five. Two percent times five and give us ten or percent. So we that total rate in five years is equal to what ten percent. So you now say therefore the full rate that is hundred percent of the principal plus the total rate in five years that is what that is ten percent of the principal is equal to the simple word interest. So that is five thousand five hundred naira. So in this place now we can say that uh, all this p is common to both sides here. So let's take what p outside as our principal and equal to that is hundred percent. Plus ten percent. So here we have ten percent plus bracket equal to as five thousand five hundred. So in this space now, you can add this one together. Ten hundred percent plus ten percent that will give you one one hundred and what one hundred and ten percent. So this one will give us a p equal to as one ten percent equal to five thousand five hundred. So from this place now, I want to get the value of P, you divide both sides by what? By 110. So everything divided by 110 percent, divided by 110 percent. So this one comes to this. So we can see our piece panel is equal to times of 5,500 divided by 110 percent. And you know this percent, other percent is the, this percent represents 100, right? So this one we call that is our T, our P is equal to 5500 divided by, that is 1000, I mean 100, 110 divided by 100. Because of this percent, we have a 100. So for this first time, you can see our principal is equal to 5500 divided by the division. Divided by 110 plus or divided by our average. So this is our machine to multiplication. So this is our first part is equal to 5500 multiplied by this one goes away, this one comes down as 100 divided by 110. So as zero comes to zero here, based on this, that gives us 55,000. So the first part is equal to 55,000 divided by we have our element here. So here now, we have 11 divided by 55,000, we give as well as 5,000. So now, so therefore, the first part is equal to 5,000 nera. So our first part is equal to 5,000 nera. So let's look for the, our option here. We can see our C is the option to do or is the answer to do for particular question. Okay guys, let's go to the next video. I mean, let's go to the next question. Hello guys, welcome back. Okay, this is the question four for today's class. So this question is that simplify open bracket. We have the full boot of 64 a raised power of a, a raised power of two, plus bracket raised power of minus one. We have our option here. So to solve this question is very simple. You still remember a question like this is what is in this question. So let's go to the way we solve it. We have two, we have full boot of 64. 64 and a raised power of 1 to 2e, everything raised power of minus 1 to 1. So, in this place, if you still remember that of indices, we have the negative or inverse here. So, in this place now, this minus 1 can be expressed as 1 over, this minus here is the same as 1 over, we have the word the full root 
of 64 uh, in this power of 3. So for this space now, this space, we can simply express it. Let's expand what we have here. So if we expand what we have here, we have 1 over, we have the whole root of 64 multiplied by whole root of what? Of a raised power, whole root of a raised power of 3. So which means that what well, this hoop will apply and this way this this three will cancel what this group root remains a here and hoop root of 64 is equal to what? Is equal to 4. So in this place now we have our answer as 1 over uh, hoop root of 64, we have 4 multiplied by as in this one has cancelled this group root remains what a. We have what a. So therefore 4 times a can give us as 4a. We have 1 over 4 over a. So answer to this question is equal to 1 over 4a. So let's look at our, our, our option. We have our a is the answer. You can find this word in option a. So we need our a is the answer for this particular word question. So let's go to the next video. Sorry, let's go to the next question. Okay, all right guys, so welcome back to the last question of this particular video. So this one is to that evaluate 21.05 that TV47 minus we have 1.36, I mean 1.63424 uh, multiplied by 0 0.23 to what? To three decimal place. So we have our option here. So to solve this question, now this is very well simple mathematics that you can use to with your calculator. Okay, let's go. We have our solution equal to Okay, let's write it out. We have a 21 multiplied by 0 for 0 0.5347 minus 1.6324 multiplied by 0 0.43. So the first thing we do here is solve this multiplication first. So which means that 1.6324 multiplied by 0 0.43. So if you use the calculator, you can write 1.05 7 minus let's multiply this you will get 0 0.7015 0 0.7015 times 19 that's what 2 yes that's what we got to use the calculator so let's subtract this one for this now you will get uh, this place we have 20 as uh, 20 points we have 35 we have uh, 15 or uh, we have uh, that what 8 so if you use the calculator to so subtract this from this, we have 20.3515 and 38. So and the answer so that you leave is what in three decimal words, this one please. So here we have what one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six dp here. So we want to stop at the word the third decimal place here, which is one, two, three. So we stop at this place. So in approximation, we have 20 point and three five one. So after you stop at three decimal place here. The next number we consider as a ladder of number, and here we have 5. So, which means that this 5 we consider as a ladder of number, which is 5, we have this value as well as 1. So, 1 plus this one we have, let's just add it here, plus 1. 1 plus 1 we give us as 2. So, our answer now is giving us 20.0352. So, answer is equal to 20.352. So, let's look for the option. Our answer is uh, option A. We have A is the answer to this particular question. Okay, we are done for today in mathematics class for upcoming German examination. So if you are just joining us, don't forget to subscribe, like, also turn the video button in case what if you are brand new like this, you'll be the first for you to be notified. In this channel, we need to share knowledge based on mathematics or related to mathematics class. Okay, let's go. We shall see you in the next video, which is tomorrow class. Okay, if you enjoyed this channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, or the notification button. Also, share with your friends to benefit from this channel. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. We shall see you tomorrow.